And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. Well, with all this rain that's moving through, it hasn't been good for all the flood warnings in the area. Now, the Salmon River is still rising, rising to about 8.5 in the next couple of days. And that's not the only thing around the region. Also, the Big Loss River, just at flood stage. We mentioned the Snake River a little bit earlier. And then finally, for the Bear River, still that current stage just below flood range. But like I said, with that rain moving through, it's expected to get worse and get back above flooding within the next few days. Although, luckily enough, the weather's starting to clear out as we're checking out the storm tracker still out of that rain up by Idaho Falls and near Jackson but as the night moves on it's going to continue to push out that way with scattered rain throughout the night however the main system is making its way out as we speak and we'll hopefully be seeing those nice dry conditions tomorrow and for a lot of that week in Pocatello so we zoom out we do see that low pressure system still making its way through Montana and that's rotating moving all of that moisture back around through Idaho. So we're still seeing those scattered showers here and there through the nighttime, but the main bulk of it will be out of here by the time the night rolls around. Future trackers seeing a little bit of showers still in the Yellowstone region for the early morning, but that clears out very fast. And while clouds do make an appearance in the back half of the day, tomorrow will be clear. No more of that rain, at least for now. And that means those temperatures start to warm up as well. Checking out what we're seeing tonight, 43 in Pocatello, 40 in Idaho Falls. Rain scatters out, but still seeing those mid-30s in the Central Mountains, scattered rain. And then for the Highlands in Western Wyoming, scattered moisture as well with the 35 degrees in Island Park. And that's mainly because we are still seeing that system remnants move through, but that main push has moved on. Highlands tomorrow, though, starts that slow process of warming up, 62 in Island Park, 64 in Jackson. Definitely an improvement over those 40s and 50s we saw today. Temperatures warm up in the Central Mountains as well. Seen 71 in Chalice, 73 in Salmon. And then finally for that Snake River Plain, warming up, partly cloudy conditions, and back in those low 70s. So while it's not those 80s and 90s we saw a couple weeks ago, Still seeing those warmer, almost summer-like temperatures getting squeaking in there. But as we're looking at right now, we're seeing it clear out until Friday. Saturday, a little bit of chance of rain, but not enough to really cool it down. Then we see those 80s and a 90 there on Tuesday next week. So if you're looking forward to that summer weather coming back, yeah, expect that next week, especially since the kickoff of the official summer is next week as well. Idaho Falls, very similar pattern. That rain on Saturday cooling down a little bit, but then warming up for next week. Seeing those low 80s into those 90s. In Teton area, a little bit more of that rain on Friday scatters in. Saturday cools down a bit, seeing those mid-60s. Once again, getting up into those 80s for next week. So we are improving slowly over this week to get back to that summer weather for next week. Then finally for the Central Mountains, just a little bit of rain on Friday. Saturday, seeing a cool down for that day only. And warming back into those 80s and seeing upper 80s by Monday and Tuesday. But for today, we did see those colder temperatures. So how far below the record high for today were we in Pocatello? Either 30, 40, or 50 degrees below, and we'll have the answer coming up later. Okay.